the day of your 17th birthday, the law states that you can take to the road and begin learning to drive. However, statistics show that the number of young drivers taking their tests has fallen by 18% in the last six years. So why don't people want this freedom anymore? A major factor is the cost of it all. Taking driving lessons is the key starter point for anyone wanting to drive. The cost of driving lessons varies according to the number of lessons required and the location. The average cost of a driving lesson is between 11 and 25 pounds. Two hour driving lessons are recommended as a more effective way to learn and cut down on the number of lessons needed. I wanted to drive because of everyone's driving and I get stuck at home and it's boring and I can't get to college and it would just be so much easier if I can learn to drive. I feel like I have a lot more freedom. Uh, I turned 17 at the start of the year and I haven't yet been able to uh, start driving lessons because I haven't been able to afford it. But it is, it is really expensive so it would be so much easier just to drive. My insurance at the moment is £3,000 for this car which is fully comprehensive and the car is in my name with my mum and dad as name drivers. And to pay for it I contribute money from my job that I have. I usually just get a lift from my parents or public transport such as buses or trains. I get everywhere now with London Transport so that's like buses and trains and stuff like that and that's all provided by the Oyster car which makes it, which allows it to be free. Um, but when that stops then the only other way would be uh, like to get a car, especially to get to college. It takes me about an hour just by bus to get to college. I don't have to rely on my parents as much as I did with having a car. I've been doing lessons for 22 weeks, so that's a lesson every week. Um, I've not, they said that I could take my practical test soon, but first I've got to pass my theory. And I failed my theory the first time by two marks, and my next one's tomorrow. Introducing in the red corner, we have the provisional licence. And in the blue corner, we have the full licence. It costs just £50 and the earliest you can apply for it is up to three months before your 17th birthday. You can apply for it on www.gov.uk. You must have never had a full licence and must display L plates on the front and back of the vehicle. You can't drive on the motorway with the provisional licence and you can only drive with an experienced driver who is over 21 sitting next to you. You can only get a full licence when you have passed both your theory and practical tests. When you have passed, your driving instructor takes your provisional, then sends off for your full licence and you get given a temporary piece of paper to keep in your car at all times until you get your full licence. In total I think I had about 24 lessons um, and then obviously I had my car so I could go out driving with my dad whenever I wanted to. I was very lucky to have got a car when I did. I got this last July so my dad thought I could uh, rather than just having one lesson a week, I could then get extra practice. But I was really fussy picking cars. I am confident at driving. I've not killed anyone yet. <laughs> Nothing scares me about driving. I'm like a racer. They tell me not to speed. I'd say I'm a confident driver. However, the thing that scares me is, well, still, on the motorway, is going past lorries. I feel that I get sucked in if I overtake them. The top nine popular first cars are Ford Focus, Peugeot 206, Volkswagen Golf, Ford KA, Volkswagen Polo, Vauxhall Corsa, Ford Fiesta, Toyota Yaris and Renault Clio. All cars cost around £1,500 and based on 04 number plates. The cheapest quote for provisional licence insurance is around £800 and the cheapest quote for full insurance is around £1,600. The cost of insurance depends on the make and model of the car and other factors like where you park it at night. Weighing that all together, insurance companies charge an amount annually that could be anything up to £5,000 or maybe even more. So why is car insurance so expensive for young drivers? According to MoneySavingExpert.com, they said, Unfortunately, there are several reasons for this. Young drivers are less experienced than older road users, bringing them into a higher risk category with insurers. Less experienced drivers are more likely to have more accidents and therefore put in more claims to more insurers. So insurance companies make their premiums more expensive to compensate.
The AA is warning that petrol prices could reach a record high by Easter after the average cost of a litre of unleaded at the pump went up by five pence in the last month. They're telling us in our AA popular surveys that up to 70% of them are cutting back on driving, cutting back on spending or doing both. So it's having a big impact. Well, look at the petrol prices. It's just ridiculous, seriously. It is a lot of money. Too expensive for the petrol. <laughs> Unleaded petrol prices peaked last spring with a new record high of more than £1.42 a litre. The cost of filling an average car has gone up by more than £3.30 since Christmas. Well,